All right. Well, welcome back to our channel once again. Uh, I know uh, in the last video I did of Star Trek uh, Online, uh, apparently the music was uh, too loud, and apparently nobody could hear a word me or my brother said, uh, which was kind of unfortunate. Um, so I am kind of redoing it uh, from basically where I left off last time. Uh, it's time with the music lower and hopefully you can hear me better uh, so uh, so basically I'm going to be redoing the entire thing uh, as I as if I was doing it for the first time so uh, this is the main screen uh, of Star Trek online uh, up in the upper corner here uh, is the current ship that I have that I've created uh, this down here is the current crew uh, that I've created, uh, main crew of my ship. Uh, to the left here is where you can start new characters. So you can either start as a, as a Starfleet or Federation person. You can also join the Klingons. Yeah, the Klingons! Uh, you can also join the Romulans. Uh... I'm not quite sure who that is. I think that's the Borg, and uh, that one I'm not too sure about. Cardassians. Okay, Cardassians. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I don't know who these people are. These this red person. No, it does not. And I don't know who the end one is. Uh, that could be a mirror universe, maybe. Um, so anyway. Uh, I'm gonna just start off on my own, uh, starting with uh, where I left off before. Uh, so I'm uh, currently at the rank of Rear Admiral, so basically you start off as an Ensign, and then you move up the ranks. Uh, as you go up in rank, you get a brand new starship for free. Uh, uh, you can use real money if you wish to... Uh, buy other ships and you can change them as you wish so I am gonna just start off where I where I was I'm gonna load and probably be attacked and getting destroyed no I don't get attacked so uh, where I left off from was uh, basically in the middle of the universe uh, so we're just gonna with a ship that's primarily built around his Orders. There's really nothing else. Uh, that is somewhat true. Um, I, uh, uh, I can't. Most of could die and get killed, but as long as he's got his quarters, he's all good. <sighs> My crew doesn't die. So, um, you already saw the inside. Uh, there's not really too much to show there again. Um, so basically I'm just going to uh, just basically uh, start moving forward and yeah and you can actually kind of move the mouse around a little bit to kind of see what it looks like so yeah so that is my current ship uh, I did change it a little bit uh, of myself I kind of thought it was kind of cool myself so I up here in the right corner you can scroll out and and we're gonna start this mission So, this is, oh. so, we are going to, I haven't played this in a while, so I am not exactly sure. He's pretty much saying he has absolutely no idea what he's doing. Uh, I don't want to go there. What's that? No, I don't want to do that either. Uh, hmm.
Well, I can't remember the buttons that I hit the... No, you don't hit those. Uh, I can't remember the buttons you hit on your keyboard to uh, make it move, so I just had to go down here and hit the... Uh, use the mouse to go forward. So we are going to basically head towards this current system that the mission says I go to. And yeah, sometimes it can take a while to get to a specific point. Um, so hang with me as I basically move as fast as I can towards the well there is no way to do warp this is actually warp oh that's warp apparently according to this I'm doing 8.61 I'm at 9.9 .9. I can't go that fast yet, yet. so And unfortunately, the only place I can kind of, tr well, trans warp to, because that's the only way I can get around any faster, uh, takes me to the home plant, uh, back, basically back to Earth, back to the main base of the, of, of the game. You can go to other space stations, like there is a Deep Space Nine here that you can kind of do the same things as, uh, as the main space dock around Earth, and there's. Oh, here we are. We're finally getting up to where our mission's gonna be. Uh, wherever they, you see a yellow circle in the on the map here, like this here in the right corner, uh, is basically the uh, objective area. So. And then you should get a message like this to say start. So sometimes you do get uh, predeter you do get predetermined messages. Sometimes you get choices. Sometimes you don't. Uh, sometimes you do, like I said, sometimes you get choices of what to say, sometimes you don't. This is Cooperative Cube 1138. We are here to help. Get more messages. They're where we left them, but they have friends. Kill them. I did a space battle on the last game or not? Fire the quantum! Yep. Uh, yep. 
Well, uh, maybe not. Well, you got a full cubio. Shoot it! Uh, it's on my side. Uh, this is actually just part of the Borg, uh... No, uh, sort of. Uh, if you remember one of the episodes of Voyager with, uh, First Officer Shakote, he kind of became part of a collector for a few minutes, for, uh, for the episode. Uh, this is actually part of that. Oh, so they're, like, free Borg. Yes, they're, like, free Borg. Oh! Well, don't shoot them. No, you don't shoot them. Thank you for coming. Our situation is quite dire. Life support is failing ship-wide, and so is artificial gravity. We're unable to conduct repairs at this time. Can you provide assistance? Thank you. We'll make our way to a base to complete repairs. Clean up this techno organic. Yeah, trash. sometimes you beam Open aboard fire. ships to do the repairs. Sometimes you can just do the repairs from uh, from the ship. Uh, yes, in this game you do actually get to see damage done to your ship and on your ship. And yes, you can die, and your ship can get destroyed, but the great thing is, is that you get unlimited respawns, so basically wait a little bit and you get to respawn uh, somewhere on the map. You may not always be where the battle was. But, and the game does not restart, so... And the little green bar you see above the kilometers of the enemy ship actually tells you uh, the hull strength. Yeah, I'm probably going to die here again. And the little bars around the enemy ship actually is, your, is the shield strength. Yes, I died. Unfortunately not, but you can change how the uh, power is distributed in battle, so you can either go with uh, putting more power to your shields, more power to your phasers, or your 
or your torpedoes. Or you can even go with uh, uh, making it more even. Or you can have more towards your torpedoes. Specimens to clean up. How irritating. Uh. No, I did not die again. Everybody's got to shoot at me. Well, the fewer I take out now, the less I have to worry about when I come back. And of course, it's got to be another... Oh, shit. I died. <laughs> oh, come on, not more. I gotta be the only ship in the area. Lucky I got a lot of good weapons on this thing now. Uh, yeah, you can upgrade the weapons on your ship if you wish. So you can, as you progress, you can get uh, stronger weapons. Unfortunately, you have to keep it on the target because if you remove the mouse off the target, then uh, unfortunately it stops shooting.
right now, my left shield is actually in oh. Is actually the strongest the left side, so Hey, I think I won. At least that battle. I'm sure I will have many, many more. A little faster to get there, a little sooner. Yeah, you have to stay in the area in order to... Ah, the Borg had found some assistance. How quaint. Ah, shit. Now what? Let's take out the big guy if we can. Well, right now our my left and rear shields are actually the strongest, so I'm gonna try and keep them. Well, they were the strongest. Usually I try and keep the strongest shields towards my enemy if I can. But, uh, as you can see, it doesn't always work. some damage here. Congratulations, Admiral. Ah, uh, another one of these motherfuckers. Shield has failed. Ah, uh, of course it's gotta be. It's always gotta be a bigger fish. Ah, good. At least the Borg were able to help out with that. It's always good to have a good Borg on your side. Ah, oh, no, another one of my 
just took out one of these goddamn things. There's like ten of them. This has gotta be the third one here. Oh, send them somewhere else. But the Borg are here. But they're good Borg. Thank you for your timely assistance. The cooperative appreciates your efforts. We can take charge of those you have rescued and transport them to friendly territory. Thank God for that. You have to forgive my brother. He doesn't always like long battles. He likes to shoot once or twice and then go home. Tracking a large force incoming. Ah, oh, right. defense stations. Jesus Christ, not another one. I'm pretty well going to die on this one. I don't have a photonic cannon. There was never such a thing as a photonic cannon. You wait, you get one, you get sixty percent of health. I'm your whining. Shoot! I'm shooting. Unfortunately, have to be in range to shoot. Unfortunately. more weapons in the front so unfortunately I got in order to get the maximum damage I have to face it head on
Now who's shooting at me? There's still more here. Well, because I have actually won the mission, I can actually either stay and continue to fight, like I am, or I can actually just leave. Target shield has failed. There. There. Uh, basically, uh, as long as you get this message saying, you, I can either leave the system or stay, uh, you can actually stay and either explore the system if you wish, or you can hit depart system and then continue on to the next mission. So I'm going to depart the system, and that automatically uh, takes over and gets you out of the system here. And then uh, the game should after. The doctor uh, was asking for assistance with the situation in the Shenda system. I'd like you to lend a hand. Uh, so, you can either accept this mission or you can decline it. Uh, if you decline it, you'll eventually have to accept it. So, uh, so I'm going to accept it. Uh, Basically, when you leave a system and you're completed a mission, it should automatically, within a few minutes, uh, give you your next mission, basically. So you can decline it, explore the universe if you wish, or you can return to your uh, to the main space station, uh, either uh, on Earth or or any other ones that are in the uh, in the uh, Star Trek uh, universe. Uh, so. I'm gonna actually just There's accept something it. Interesting. I'd like you to look into. So, as you can see, there's different options. So I can either go to the mission, which is the top one, or I can hit exit and not find out what the admiral wants, or I can find out what. Sir. Officially, there's a joint effort aimed at establishing a new presence in the Delta Quadrant. While I was captain of the Voyager, I learned a lot about this part of the galaxy. Command felt I'd be a valuable part of our efforts here, and I agree with them. We need to find out where things stand, especially with some of the more aggressive factions in the Quadrant. There used to be a lot of distance between Delta and our neck of the galaxy, but now, thanks to a pair of Dyson spheres and an Iconian gateway system, the Delta Quadrant might as well be next door. I'd like to make sure we're all going to be good neighbors. So. So, basically, there's, there's something really nothing there. I'd like you to look into. Assist the doctor as soon as possible. So. For now, things are... So, we'll just exit. Uh, as you can see up in the right corner on the map, uh, it shows you a yellow arrow. Uh, basically that just is telling you which way to go, which is basically turning around. Actually, I think I'm going faster. Zoom on the on the mini map in the right corner. Uh, 
basically you just follow the yellow arrow and it will lead you to where your next mission is and it's actually gonna be right here Uh, that is another thing which I never actually told you about. Uh, in order for it to work, you actually have to be on the same level as the system. There's the system I'm looking for. I was way down here. Uh, unfortunately, if you're too low or too high, it will not work. Basically, you gotta aim right for it. Or or the or the game will not accept it, and you will not. Uh... And there we go. Yeah, you can drive right. You can go right past the mission area. Pleased to meet you. I scanned your service record before your arrival. You've been in quite a few battles, haven't you? Ever stop to think about the strain you're putting on your medical crew before you charge into combat? Of course you don't. No captain ever does. We've been hailing this Ocompen freighter for some time, but we're not getting a response, and our sensors cannot penetrate their shields. Their initial distress signals indicated that they were suffering from Paranisti measles. I can treat it easily, if I can get onto the ship. Now that your ship is here, it should be trivial to board the vessel and assess the situation. Transport me aboard your vessel, and then my shuttle can return to Voyager. Excellent. Your ship has more powerful sensors than my shuttle.
I don't have any rockets. It is that. Pick up some of the stuff that's been hanging out there. You gotta get rid of some stuff. Yes. It can only, it can only have so many bonuses. What, the hell uh, what do you got here? Stuff I may not need. Some of these they may have on other ships. Now you gotta figure out where the battle is.
Ah, oh, there they are. So they're either. Ah, oh, there they are. Ah! Yeah, sometimes you gotta go around and figure out where the hell everybody is. Fire. I am Gorm, leader of the Batwa. Good for you. to hail somebody. Scan. No, I don't want that. I want that. Character status. Inventory. No. No. That's a good question. I don't think I've ever had to hail anybody before. Or it automatically did it itself. Then again, I may just have to get closer. I am Gaul, leader of the Vaudoir Supremacy. I apologize for the overzealousness of my soldiers. This action was not authorized. That's what they all say. I'm pleased to finally meet you. 
It appears your presence here in the Delta Quadrant has inadvertently caused some conflict between us. I would rather avoid any more unpleasantness. Would you be willing to meet with me face to face? That is understandable. Do you have a location in mind? There are not many areas of the Delta Quadrant where my people are not reviled. Oh, what a wonderful surprise! Is there anything I can do for you? Diplomatic negotiations? I am Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. I would be more than happy to offer my services as mediator. As for the location, Dexa and most of our people are on new Talax now, but we still have the asteroid base in the Entaba system. It's mostly empty now, just a few cleanup crews, and the Kazon have been leaving it alone. It would be perfect. So as you can see, there was an option there to either include the character of Neelix or not. I've included him. You don't have to. Either well, one would have been fine. did you find a suitable location for our meeting? Talaxians. Are there still Talaxian communities? How odd. The site is agreeable. Send my ship the coordinates and I will meet you there. I'm contacting the closest man. They can investigate this further while we meet with Gaul. And that's basically how you end that. Uh, it, sometimes there are multiple sections to a mission like this one. So in order to complete it, we still have to fly to the asteroid base and meet with uh, Gaul. Apparently, so imagine using a medical emergency as a trap. The Vadwar have no shame. I don't trust Gaul. He betrayed us on Vadwar Prime, he'll do it again. It's good to see you again so soon. If I might make a suggestion, I would recommend only bringing two crew members with your away team. Gaul brought four aides. You'll have the doctor and myself, and bringing more of your crew down might look like you're trying to get an advantage on him. Gaul uh, that's seems kind of the point. very touchy. Proper protocol will be important. Are you ready to beam down? Uh, so again, you don't have to. You can either go around explore the area or you can continue with the story I'm going to continue with the story uh, in this you get to choose who you get to bring down with you uh, so you obviously uh, but you do have a list of characters that uh, the game has given you uh, or that you've actually accepted yourself uh, as part of the game so you can either pick uh, it automatically pre-pick some of them uh, you can change them if you wish uh, depending on what characters uh, you want to bring down I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is it is supposed to be diplomatic so I don't want to bring people down that might want to shoot Uh, depending on uh, my uh, my main hard drive's getting a little full, so sometimes it uh, it's fast to load, sometimes it isn't. It also depends on how big the uh, map is or the play area is, and because it is a fairly big game. 
Uh, sometimes it'll take slower to load, sometimes it'll be fast. It's so good to see... Doctor, it's been 30 years! You haven't aged a day! Yes, it's good to see you too, Neelix. We have a bit of time before we'll begin. We're giving the Vaudoir a fine Talaxian feast to help ease the tension. Doctor, you must tell me all you've been up to. Oh, Neelix, I couldn't. Not with the Vaudoir here. But I suppose it is important that you hear about my many achievements since our last meeting. And my brilliant research was able to prove conclusively... Thus, I began my grand adventure into the challenge <laughs> of writing Klingon opera. Oh, well. Brax and I agreed to never mention the incident again. <laughs> well, at least not to Dexa. <laughs> Neelix, the Vardwar have finished the appetizers and are waiting for you. Oh, well, we had better get going. W we can talk more later. So, here you get to... Do you remember Chef Jolax from the last time you were here? He's the one that has been serving the Vaudoir, their fabulous appetizers. Full bellies make for good conversation, I always say. He told me that Gaul is a little grumpy, but I'm sure you can handle him. Gaul is in the command room now, waiting for us. Jolax should be back soon to take everyone's orders for the main course. So basically, like space, you use uh, the keyboard to move uh, your character forward, backwards, left, and right. And like everything else, you do have the mini map in the corner, and you basically just follow it until you find you can zoom in, zoom out, like you have before, like in space. And basically, you're looking for the objective area. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always seem to tell you where it is. So sometimes you might have to find it yourself. Uh, let's see. Well, it seems like everybody's coming in here, so I'm assuming this is the way to go. Yeah, see, as soon as I came up here, it showed that this is the objective. Ah, at last. I must say, your Talaxian friends are quite hospitable. But down to business. Our meeting is long overdue. As do I. My people are damaged, in crisis. We are already at war with the Kabali, and with you, given your alliance's support for them. Yeah, it doesn't give you the rank. Uh, the characters don't say the rank, even though it says it in there, because uh, you could be at any rank during this game. Uh, you could be higher, you could be lower. Who knows? Uh, so... That's why it doesn't say, and it doesn't also say the name of the ship because you can make, you can name your ship whatever you want. Uh, so. Do you know why we fight the Kabali? Their world was once a Vadwa colony, one of our largest. And there is still a large cache of stasis tubes on the planet. Those are my brothers and sisters being held hostage. The Kabali are stealing them, taking their very identities and transforming them. The Kabali would rather watch us die and use our corpses as fuel for their unnatural corruption. Is it wrong to fight against your own extinction? Don't we have a right to survive as well? There can be no peace. Not after what they've done. Are you suggesting we are weak? That we should just lay down and die for them? No, we will not. Do not try to pacify me. We will have our retribution. You have my offer. Abandon your alliance with the Kobali and support us, and we will be your strongest ally in the Quadrant. 
<laughs> Peace. You know nothing of what it means to be Vodwar. You need to understand. That doesn't sound The good. Vodwar have endured too much to make peace. Do you expect us to forget the destruction of our cities? The massacres of our people? The food's almost ready. What would you all like for your main course? You need to understand even the smallest fraction of our anger. <gasps> huh. He's dead. I'm sorry. Let's kill the chef. <laughs> Does that make you angry, Talaxian? No. It makes me sad. For Jolex. And for you. Then we are not done. Apparently. <laughs> what the? Huh? Oh no. <sighs> well, peace isn't always. Come on. Oh, there we go. Sometimes war is good for the blood. Oh no. Sorry, you're not Klingon. Alright, go save the people. I'm only to save one group? I do not envy your choice. I would go with you, but I cannot leave Neelix alone. And time is of the essence. I'm afraid you'll have to go on without us. No. I'm going. I can't sit by and let the Vaudoir kill my friends. I, I won't be a burden. I promise. I have to do this. Hmm. Now. How do we choose who to save?
Yeah, I never take in these boxes. I don't know what they do. It's a Christmas present. Old painless is waiting. Exactly. Old painless is waiting. Hmm. Where's all the bad guys? See, you scared all the bad guys away. Apparently. They think Godzilla's coming. Ah, there it is. So, as you can see, there is a small green area here that I have to get to. Because that is where the objective is. Aha. And when you see these glowing little lights, it means there's something special to hear. Yeah, because Ryan is special. And like uh, shooting your ship, you have to use the mouse. We've saved the hostages, but they may be safer here. Yeah, there are some things you can scan. Yeah, it's a mini game essentially. Where you can get uh, different uh, metals and, and that. And up in the right corner also tells you where different objectives are. So you don't have to look at the mini map. Probably trying to run away like a talk, trying to escape. Or maybe not. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you where he is, it just tells you somewhere. Actually, he's somehow behind me. Ah, that's why. What about the people in logistics? Ah, that's what I had to do. I had to tell them to stay put. Ah. Yeah, sometimes the easiest solution is uh, just talking to them. before the game will continue on.
Doctor, you have to save them. These are my friends. Yeah, I don't know what the blue is. They are beyond my help now, Neelix. I'm sorry. Then we can still save the others. We have to get to the shuttle in the cargo bay. Gotta break into song now. Well, when you feel blue, sometimes a nice song helps. Like uh, playing in space, you have to keep your uh, mouse on the character that you want to shoot at, or it won't shoot. I've sent a signal to the remaining Telaxians to join us here as soon as possible. More Vodwar on the way! Defend the shuttle! Yeah, you can die or get close to death. More on the way. If I weren't a hologram, I'd be worried. A large number of Vodwar are closing in. I'm afraid they may be too much for you to handle. The Terei are here to assist. After this, our debt to you is repaid. That's timely. Here come the Vodwar. for help for somebody to help you or or just respawn your character and like in space you get to respawn as many times as you want the Vadwa have been repelled I would have words with you before you continue
Our help does not mean we are now allies. We are repaying a debt. Our ships are currently engaging the Vaudois fleet. It is unsafe for this shuttle to launch until they are defeated. We will return to our ships. I suggest you do the same. We will provide cover for your ship so it may drop shields to transport you. And then you can either stay and explore or you can leave. So I'm gonna leave. I knew this meeting was a farce. The word Vaudoir means fool in ancient Talaxian. Did you know that? You thought me a fool who would swallow your insults without comment. A fool who would blunder into the trap you set with the Torey. I am not. This has destroyed any chance of an accord between us. How disappointing. I had thought you would be a valuable ally. Now you are just another victim. And then, of course, another battle. But at least I don't have to do it alone. I'll make you weak. I'll take you out like I've done with all your other ships. You're weak and pathetic. Voyager is here. We will not allow the Vaudoir to escape. No, not really. Well, of course I'm gonna lose. There's like 50 ships against me. It is kind of super to me, but Thank you. 
again. Like that was a shocker. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. 
came to our aid when the Vaudoir attacked our homeworld. Now we have come to assist you. This discharges our obligation. How could they do something so horrible? We're no threat to them. We've done nothing but welcome them. And he just... He killed my friends just to make a statement. I, I don't understand how anyone would be so callous. I don't blame you. I agreed to let the Vaudoir come here. I put my people in danger. This is my responsibility. I just never conceived that even the Vaudoir could be so treacherous. They double-crossed us on Voyager and tried to take the ship, but slaughtering innocent people. My time on Voyager changed me. I saw the best that people could be. I forgot, or wanted to forget, how evil they could be. With your permission, I'll lead the survivors back to New Talix. Then we can return with a security force to collect the dead. I've been in contact with the USS Blackwell. They boarded the freighter in the Shenda system, but it was empty. It was all a ruse by the Vaudoir to lure us into that system. Everything was part of this play Gaul wanted to perform, from the initial distress call to his intervention and offer to negotiate. And then he used a massacre to set his stage. That's the kind of man he is, and unless he's stopped, the entire quadrant may fall. Gaul has shown his true nature. I expected he was not dealing in good faith. But nevertheless, we had to make an attempt to find a peaceful solution to our problems with the Vaudoir. Now the war will continue. I grieve for all who have been lost, and for those who will fall before this conflict ends. Senseless, meaningless death. I'll never understand. I hope Neelix and his people will be able to find some peace and that Gaul will answer for his crimes. And I hope our paths cross again, perhaps under better circumstances next time. With your permission, I'll return to Voyager. And we will depart the system to end that part of the, basically the end of that story. Gaul betrayed my trust years ago when we first encountered the Vaudoir. Time hasn't made him any less treacherous or dangerous. He's a warmonger. He must be stopped. There's something. Congratulations, Admiral. Ah! I got, an, I got a promotion! I'm now a rear admiral, upper half instead of a lower half. Upper half? Yeah. Instead of lower half. Yeah. No. So I can pick one of the following. So sometimes uh, with these, uh, with these rewards, you can actually choose a reward. So I can either pick a Tellarite engineering officer, a Bajoran science officer, or a Regilian tactical officer candidate. Uh, you, I can pick any one of them. I am thinking. Uh, maybe a tactical officer. Reading ceremonies. And then it's our next mission. Accepted. Should you complete your task? Should you complete your tasks? And we'll say OK. 
Okay. So, I think I'm just gonna go back to Earth. Because that this is uh, coming on to an hour and 35 minutes. So, I'm gonna pretty well go to my home base on Earth. And basically that's where I'll end this game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little run through again. Uh, this time with the volume down. This time with the volume down. Hopefully you can hear me better. Uh, this time you actually got to see a space battle. I don't believe you got to see one in the last one. It was just ground. This one you got to see both space and ground. So basically all the... Everybody who gets to play this game all come here. And then in order to get into there you hit dock. And you automatically beam aboard. Uh, you can go actually down to Earth to Starfleet Academy. Um, there's really nothing special down there. Uh, everything you kind of really need to do is up here. But you can beam down there. There are things down there you can do. Uh, I'm just going to double check to see if I can get a new ship. I don't think I can. See, these are all my other ships. So I got this one, which is my current one. This is the previous one that I had, uh, which I thought was kind of neat. I call it the Cincinnati. Uh, there are other ones that I have, but I do believe they are all in Dry Dock. Dry Dock. Yeah, so I have the Independence, the Garth, and the Canada, which was my first ship. That was my first one. I think that was my second one, then my third one, and then the fourth one, which I just showed you, and then my current one, which is the fifth. Uh, acquire ships. Let me see. Can I get a new ship? Uh, apparently not. Uh, the next ship is... Uh, I don't get a new ship until I hit uh, Vice Admiral, unfortunately. So these will be the... So whenever I get an upgrade to Vice Admiral. Uh, these will be my ships I can pick from. So I can pick a, a fleet deep space science vessel, uh, a heavy cruiser refit, uh, or a research vessel, uh, or a heavy cruiser refit, or a, or a fleet star cruiser, which I may and then you can uh, go down and see the different types of ship. Uh, yeah, I may pick one of those, I'm not sure. Uh, and then you got a, another science vessel, escort, escort, uh, fleet tactical, so I can pick uh, any one of these. Or I can pick any one of the ships and then I can change it and change different parts of the ship. Uh, research vessel, science vessel, science, uh, uh, basically a refit of one of these. So I could ch pick that and maybe put, and then I could change it to uh, either. Yeah. And then there's, I, I may even pick one of these again, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I got a long ways to, ah, actually when I get up there, I actually might even pick this, just pick this as it is. I've actually, I kind of, this is actually new. Uh, actually got to see this actually on Star Trek Picard actually. It was the Enterprise G, 
was it? E, F, or maybe it's F. Uh, so, I may even just pick that one. Uh, there's also... Actually, I've ne never seen that ship before, actually. Actually, I think uh, with uh, some of these upgrades, I think... Uh, actually, I think they did an update and added quite a few ships. Because I've never seen that ship before. Um, yeah, you can go to there. Or you can pick that. Holy crap. Or you can get a fleet battle cruiser. A battle cruiser. Uh, but uh, that, like I said, won't be till I hit. Uh, Vice Admiral, unfortunately, or I can get a s experimental science vessel. But again, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I may do a video, uh, me just uh, doing a quick video of me upgrading. Um, but we'll see. Uh, on the right, you can see the different systems that I have to go to to do patrols in order to complete the next mission. So, I am not... So, I gotta hit level 50 in order to get to uh, Vice Admiral. What level are you at now? I'm at uh, 45. So, I got... Um, five more levels! Five more levels. Uh, it basically breaks it down to what you do. Uh, so, as an upper level, all I got was a Bridge Officer Award, uh, which I picked. Um, and then eventually when I get to 47, I get, uh, I get a, a Tactical Fleet, an Engineering Fleet, and a Science Fleet. I'm not sure what those are. Uh, I'll have to see when I get to it. And then at 48 and 49, nothing happens. It isn't until level 50 I get to Vice Admiral, which is permission to buy the next rank of ships, uh, new traits, uh, I get to unlock uh, player versus player daily missions, I get to, to unlock a quantum slipstreams drive uh, eventually uh, when I get there, I get to unlock uh, the reputation system, which I'm not sure what it is. Uh, apparently I unlock it, and then I unlock specializations, which again, I do not know what those are. And then when I hit 51, you get du another duty officer, and then you get fleet support rank 3, admiralty system unlocked, which I don't know what it is. And then you get down to uh, Starfleet Admiral, all you get is uh, another officer. And then you get uh, space ability for 57, then you hit Fleet Admiral, you get new traits. Uh, apparently, get a, a requisition token, so I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if that's if I can requisition a ship from, uh, get another ship or not. Uh, and then basically, uh, the phone, intrusive energy, co-op energy weapon. Uh, apparently, those are some things I get at 63, 64. Uh, apparently, open up the ga gamma quadrant, and then at 65, which is at the end so far, uh, you get a hero ship card, um, the CUV Tane. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm a long way from that, obviously, but. Um, maybe in the future I may show you what it's like and show you what to do and so that's basically Star Trek Online uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video again I hope you um, uh, learn some things about it. This time you can actually hear me talk about it instead of uh, being overwhelmed by the sound effects and music. Um, so please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And uh, Definitely subscribe! Yeah, 
and comment on this. Tell me if you want to see me uh, when I get to Vice Admirals. Maybe, uh, maybe see if what ship I pick. Uh, maybe out of the options I told you, maybe you have a, a, a particular ship you'd like me to get. Uh, see which one I can, uh, which one you might think I might want. Um, I'll try and uh, remember to film me buying one to show you how I can change the different stuff on it. Um, so, yeah. So I hope you'll, like I said, like, share, subscribe to this channel, comment on this video. Um, maybe you don't want to see any more of these videos. Maybe you're not interested. I don't know. Uh, let us know that too. Um, so I hope you all enjoy the weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Have a great day. And then a weekend. Bye.